Nikola Tesla, the genius, his legend, and his inventions. Anyone who truly knows the story of Nikola Tesla would tell you how they gaped in awe and shook their head in sadness. The awe would be because of how great Tesla's innovative mind was, and the sadness would be about what could have been possible if Nikola Tesla had received all the necessary attention and support he needed and rightfully deserved. Nikola Tesla was a genius, forgotten in his time by the commercial pressures of other inventors like Thomas Edison. He was a true hero of science that sadly never came to the prominence he deserved. The good news is that, in recent years, his memory is being preserved. Great online campaigns like the Oatmeal's incredible feat to help build a Tesla museum have helped this inventor to be recognized as one of the true geniuses of the beginning of the Great Electricity Revolution. Wireless Energy One of his greatest inventions that never saw the light of day because he could not find funding is the Wardenclyffe Tower, or better known as the Tesla Tower. This genius believed that he was able to find a way to transmit energy through the air just as today we are able to transmit data wirelessly. Thanks to many towers around the world that serve as transmitters. This was a dream so big that having found the resources to create a prototype with his first tower in his laboratory in Shoreham, New York, he would have changed the world forever with one of the evolutions that we can only dream of and maybe compare with the internet or jet engines. Tesla managed to see his tower completely finished, but in the absence of money, it was demolished in 1917. As a data, Tesla showed that the transmission of energy was possible by electrostatic induction in 1891. A world with wireless charging. Imagine a world where Tesla was considered what he is, a genius whose inventions could change the world. Imagine that the Wardenclyffe Tower was completed and that Nikola Tesla secured the funding to create a company to manage the thousands of wireless charging towers around the world. We would live in a world so different, in which decades could have advanced in many aspects. Imagine that Tesla managed to make it possible to transmit energy between America and Europe, could have created electric planes able to cross the Atlantic decades before Charles Lindbergh managed to cross the ocean non-stop between New York and Paris. We could have changed the Industrial Revolution created in the 19th century that was moving to coal by a much cleaner system. Renewable energies could have taken on a much more important role than they have today if the Tesla towers would need a lot of energy to be able to distribute it. It would take large power stations to generate it, such as large hydroelectric power stations. But if the renewable power take over, it could have been possible to create a truly clean and wireless electric charging system. Just think of any electrical device you have right now. From the device you are reading this from, to your everyday home appliances. And try hard to imagine a world where you would never know what a charging cable is, or how it feels for your device to run out of battery. Imagine electric planes flying through the skies, millions of cars without emitting CO2, industries capable of operating without the need to pollute the air, innovations of all kinds of technology in our body that would not need batteries, such as robotic legs for injuries. That was probably the world that would have been had Tesla got the support he needed, but he didn't. Pocket change to a man of your Damn it, Tesla. Please. Wireless electricity for the world, and all one needs is a cheap little device to receive it. 
How do you charge people for that? There's no goddamn profit in it, you vainglorious idiot. His plan focused more on serving humanity than enriching his pockets. Many investors didn't see the big picture, but rather focused on what they would make at the moment. It was easy for the more money-making idea of Thomas Edison to fly, even though it was inferior. At the end, it was all about the money, not the service. <laughs>